certified most accurate. Now your first worn five forecast. Good Monday afternoon. I'm meteorologist Matthew Mondro with your first sworn five update. Now so far today it has been warming up pretty quick and this afternoon we'll still see some of those temperatures getting into the upper 80s and lower 90s. So these temperatures above normal for this time of year a normal right around 82 degrees, but still across the thumbs some middle 80s, 88 even up to 90 degrees for the tri cities, 88 in Flint and a few of our northern locations should also get up to around that 80 or, or 90 degree mark rather as well. Now here's a look at our humidity through this week. Dew points actually largely staying in the 60 degree range, so that is good for us. It's not going to be very humid or overly humid for us this week, but we still do see a few spikes here late tonight into Tuesday morning and also on Wednesday. That's associated with two of our upcoming rain chances. They still aren't looking to be the greatest rain chances, but it is a chance nonetheless. So on your first one five sky tracker, there's our system we're watching for Wednesday out ahead of that. We'll be watching a few thunderstorms over in Minnesota and how those progress this evening will dictate our rain chances for late this Monday night and into Tuesday morning. Your first First one five hour by hour for the rest of this afternoon, though mostly sunny, plenty of sunshine out there. So great weather if you do have any outdoor plans or errands to run. Just make sure you're staying hydrated with that heat as we head through the overnight. There's our clouds coming in from the northwest, and there's that chance for a few of those showers and thunderstorms to also move in from the northwest. Could have some pockets of some heavier rainfall, but not really looking to have any severe weather out of this at the moment. So that is the good news with that. And that moves through early in the morning on Tuesday, and then also Tuesday afternoon. Just a weak disturbance may be enough. Also paired with the heat and humidity to bring a few scattered showers and thunderstorms across the thumb for Tuesday afternoon. Now we'll zoom out for our system on Wednesday. It is or has been rather speeding up into the Great Lakes. So that does mean the cold front moving through closer to the morning. So still a few showers and thunderstorms associated with that, but you can see more of that widespread rain that blossoms along the cold front is now off to the east over in Ontario. So that's with that system speeding up. If it does start to slow back down again, then we would see more of that widespread rain shifting back into our area. You still certainly need some rainfall. We did have some rain last week, but still we are currently sitting on the drier side of normal. Seven day forecast is dry Thursday, mostly dry Friday and a few more rain chances for the upcoming weekend. But again, the heat is the big story this week. Even our overnight lows in the upper 60s and the lower 70s. Stay with WNEM TV 5 on air, on the go and online for more news and weather updates.